Rated PG-13. Ditch lights off, gauge lights off, rear headlight off. It's like, now you want me to do more stuff, right? As soon as I stand up, put it in neutral. And we got one more locomotive that we have to actually move. Here. What up, Coast fan? Welcome back to the stream, man. I think so. I mean, I've been waiting for this game for years. I've been talking about this game since like 2015 or so. So I think it's definitely worth it. Oh. I wasn't aware the door's right there. Wow. So this is the AC4400 right here. I like that little different entrance right there. I'm guessing that's the toilet probably in there somewhere. It's a little different layout, isn't it? Having just arrived in Cumberland, please yeah. need taking over to the locomotive shop for refueling and refreshment. Be sure to disconnect them from the rest of the train first. This way, or maybe not. Let's go ahead and disconnect it from the rest of the train. There we go. So this is my first time being in the 4400. Pretty excited about that. Definitely a different layout. I need to figure out where the hell we're going first, though. That's my problem. I guess that's the independent brake right there. So let me see where the hell we're going. I guess we gotta get to the turntable. So we probably need to go forward and then reverse back down to the turntable area. So let's go ahead and do that. Reverser's probably not forward. There we go, reverser's up. Now we can move forward. still a glitch in the system, so... There we go. So we gotta get to the fuel shed now. Does it not change? Let me see if it changes. Ooh, that worked! Now I can't close the door. <laughs> it's gonna be loud as hell for a minute. I can get up and shut the door. You can definitely tell the uh, engine level definitely changes when opening the door, that's for sure. I like this layout though. Seems a little bit uh, less powerful. I'm assuming it has more torque, though. Give me one second, guys. Well, because the door just like opens up on its own. So yeah, you might want to lock it. There you go. Hola. 
Hayden, you get a loop. The Alchemist. Who out there has read The Alchemist? Anybody? I see what you're saying, Crusher. I'm assuming they did like a real world test of the sound, but you never know. Is The Alchemist a movie too or not? Someone said it's a good movie. Yeah. Alright, let's go out here and change. What we need to let's look at the map real quick and see what we need to do to reverse this baby to the fuel shed. So I need to just stay to the right. All right, I think I got it. Good, hopefully. Yeah, so they said it was a good movie. Huh. So what you're saying is I don't have to actually read the book. I can just... Uh... Huh? Yeah. They're saying I don't have to read the book. I can just go watch the movie. Let's get a little bit more quiet in here. All these things look different. Put this in reverse. That's on release. Should be good. I haven't been sounding the horn when I'm taking off. I should be doing that. Question is, where do I got to reverse to? I didn't really pay attention to that. So let's follow the track where we're going. Going all the way down. So we gotta go all the way down before coming back from the looks of it. I can find the fuel shed. Let's see where this is at. So many lines, it's so hard to read. So the purple line, I gotta basically get back to here is what I need to do. No, Racer, I don't really remember how to fuel. I know I did it during the beta. I thought it was pretty awesome. I forgot where the fuel tank is. That would probably help me out, right? There it is, little fuel cap. I gotta stop by the, uh, I gotta be close enough, right, to fuel it. If you wanna give me any hints, you're more than welcome to, that's for sure. Are brakes still on? Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Crusher. What's up, Neil? How's it going, man? What up, part time? Yeah, it's definitely a real location. Don't ask me to give you any details because I really don't know. It's Sand Patch Grave, I believe is the name. But you go through a bunch of different little towns, all realistic locations, as far as I know. Neil's another streamer. I've seen you, or at least I believe you're starting to stream. On Twitch as well. You guys are welcome to check them out. Again, we're going to be doing a free giveaway at the end of the scenario, which is coming up very, very soon. I would say to win a game, you do have to follow me at twitch.tv slash gamer and be actively talking on twitch.tv as well, because you guys are going to end up guessing a number probably 0 to 100. And, uh, Hopefully Crusher will go easy on you guys because he's pretty quick with those numbers. Probably go a little faster than 9 miles per hour. It's not really 
safe with this headrest there, is it? Yeah, I'll figure it out when I get there. I'll fill, uh, fill both of them up. I do two trucker. I spent, I think, 300 hours on train sims so far. Which, I guess, someone just said they had, what, a thousand, a couple thousand hours on train sim. I can't come close to that, but I definitely put in my time. So that's where we're going to end up going. Follow that track. We got a little ways to go. And you might be able to hear an actual real train outside my house right now, about to pass by. Cheers, everybody. Definitely appreciate everybody tuning in. a lot of hours to put in too. Thank you Trucker, definitely appreciate it. Damn, 1059. <laughs> Waiting for the scenario to load. That's not good. I hope that's actually like real playtime hours. I know a lot of games that will get stuck if you don't close out of it properly, Steam still counts it as hours, but I actually have like 300 plus playtime hours, which again, it's not a whole lot because I have to work. Real life always comes first, but it's a lot for me. Yeah, giveaway is coming right after this uh, scenario is up. You guys will get probably uh, three to four games to choose from, and we'll guess the number from 0 to 100 at that point. Pressure. Come on, man. 59 hours? Probably got double that in a farm sim, more than likely. Alright, so here's where the break is up here. Nice, Agent. What up, big mother trucker? Damn, Mill. That's a lot. Damn, Crusher, 500? Yeah, he got way more than me. Pretty sure I got well over a hundred, but as soon as the whole live streaming farm sim ended, I haven't really gone back to it. Alright, let's go up here and then start looking at the map again, see what we need to change. Alright, let's look at the map, make sure we don't jack this up. Well, it says we're going the right way. Could that be? It might. <sighs> Thank you, Red Clay, for the follow. Definitely appreciate it. All right, I gotta actually like legitimately pay attention to this. I think I need to follow this purple one down here, though.
Yeah, so I need to get to that purple one. So I need to come down here and change this junction. And that should get me all the way there. I believe. Yeah. I'm down, Crusher. Like I said, someone has to come to my house, stream with me for me to do farm sim, but I need to get back into it. It's definitely a, uh, a fun game to play when you got people with you. Playing farm sim alone, eh, not so much unless you're just really, really bored. I'm surprised a homeless person hasn't tried to jump in the train and take off right now. I would if I was homeless. Like, hell yeah, you left that door open. Oh, I closed the door. Alright, let's go ahead and get the Verser Ford. Take off the brake. Forward. Of course my mouse is not working properly. There we go. <laughs> I'll definitely treat you right, Crusher. I got you. It is 12.22 right now in the morning. Almost 12.30. Coast time. You can tell the frame rate in this area is pretty bad, but it's pretty good on most of the uh, or the majority of the route. Let me try this. How does this thing work? Yeah. Oh, I can turn the fan on. Really? You can actually hear the fan too in the background just a little bit. Just a slight hum, some white noise for you. That's cool. I like how you're able to basically change and adjust everything, it's pretty neat. Um, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I'm on the right track. Let me just follow it just in case. To make sure. No, I'm good. Well, if I'm not, I'll find out here shortly, though. Pretty sure I'm good. I may have to actually end up redoing the scenario at some point because I feel like I've done this for longer than 45 minutes. It's a good learning experience on how everything works. I really wonder if I can get those three locomotives on the turntable. Or it may even be quicker to disconnect one of them, put two on the turntable, get them across, and then get that third one across too. <laughs> Sooner country. An okay, you're, you're just an okay. That last switch. Check one more time. No, I think we're good. No, it should be fine. This, uh, as long as I'm going in the general vicinity, it will be okay. 
Again, if you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure to switch over to twitch.tv slash gamer. We're going to do a game giveaway as soon as this scenario is over. And you just need to make sure to hit the follow button on Twitch to be eligible to win. There you go, Racers. Okay. Thank you for calling me out. I'd rather be 100% sure than just get up there and not be able to do it right. I think the real trick is going to be stopping it in the correct place. <laughs> you got a really good point there. Not a big AM, UT, or any fan for that matter. I think my girlfriend's whole family likes AM, right? Yeah. Your whole family likes AM? Wait, the whole, whole family went to AM, so I didn't go to college, so you guys are already farther in life than I am. Tanks ahead. The nozzle up right there. And the tanks are just back here. All right, Chucker, take care, man. Thank you for hanging out with us. Definitely appreciate it. Although you're going to be missing out on the game giveaway here in just a second. Texas Bandit, how's it going? Thank you for the follow, definitely appreciate it. trucker yeah this is almost over as soon as I'm done fueling up we'll do the game giveaway real quick for you uh, I didn't set the reverser it's still in forward I gotta move forward anyways here in a second so let's go ahead and shut this off first So I guess I don't have to refuel the other part. So where's the pit track? That was the question. Oh, just behind us. So go back. Okay. Right behind us. So we'll be there in just a second. 
the reverser in reverse. Take the break off and we'll do throttle one. Set headlights to off. Person in neutral. Full service. Now I gotta head to the office building, which is gonna make me walk all the way over there. over there, hopefully I don't get hit by another train, that'd be horrible. Uh, I don't think so, Big Mother Truck, I actually tried that earlier in the scenario, and it wants you to go back in the same cab you've been using, otherwise it will tell you to get back in the right cab. Uh, there's going to be three or four you can choose from, uh, Trucker, so I'll tell you guys here the games you can choose from here in just a minute. put a, uh, at least a one A-class quality game in there, but there'll be a couple good games that you can choose from in case you already have the big game. This right here. There we go. So 7,900. I got I think 8,000 on the last scenario I did. So I don't know if that's the max or what is the max. It took an hour and 14 minutes. It should have took 45 minutes roughly. So yeah, might have to redo that in the future. But um, that was the clear cut scenario right there. I had driven 5.69 miles, walked 1.68 miles. You can see my levels right there. First time using the AC4400. Anyways, if you guys are watching on YouTube, it's going to be the end of this video right now. If you're watching the live stream, hang out for a free game that we're going to give away here in just a minute. And I'll see you guys next time on YouTube. Don't die. Don't you know?